This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey, everybody. How are you? It's the, uh, it's the Ramble, and uh, we're here until... Uh, the cock crows at midnight, Eastern Daylight Time. Uh, and tonight we're going out uh, in many different flavors. Uh, I just did a hat trick here. And what's happened is, is that for some reason, Facebook, with their program that usually gets me on, and gets me on my Facebook page, you know, my Alex Bennett Facebook page. Uh, would you sit down? You can listen and learn something here, you know. What? Yeah, I, well, you, well, I don't know why you should be. Okay. Can you hear? Yeah. You can hear now. Yeah. You 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 want to make sure you hear? Okay. Let me explain this to people. So the program that I normally use places the program on. Why? What are you doing over there? Don't play with the computer. Just pay attention to the show, will you? Jeez Almighty! God, you're rude. Anyway, you're wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on, I haven't even got your mic up yet. Well, anyway, well, let, me, let, me, let me explain this to them, okay? Let me just explain this to them. So the program that I use usually places it on my Alex Bennett Facebook page, but this one, because it, it was a workaround and one of their ways of doing Facebook Live was on my GabNet Live page. So it goes to GabNet Live. Then I have to get it to post over to get to Alex Bennett. And tonight I decided I would take the embed code, they call it, and I would throw it up on GabNet, period, GabNet.net. So if you go over to GabNet.net, there we are, live as a jaybird. And then if you, if you go over to Facebook, my page, do you see it? And if you go over to Facebook Live, Facebook, well, it's Facebook.com forward slash GabNet Live, okay? Then you can see it really, it's big and large and looks good. What are you, what are you giving me those looks for? I'm not looking at you, you're, I'm you're, looking you, in the mirror. You were going, bup, 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 bup. you just, you just, you have no respect for me. I'm looking you, in the mirror, I'm staying away. You didn't even introduce here, me. Here, put the mic in your direction. Oh, I have to teach you something about using microphones. Hi. There you go, that's so much it's better. Friday, it's, it's Friday, it's Friday. Ba, 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 ba. Ba. It's Friday. It's Friday. Look, it's almost. Is it? It's almost. It's almost it, seamless. It, it's almost seamless. Only my hand kind of looks like it's chopped. Yeah, you know, we should do is cha change spots, and I'll go that way. Yeah, <laughs> this right. Way. Right. So anyway, um, uh, so look what look what we have uh, what we have here. Uh, Aren't you going to introduce me? Oh, it's my wife. Um, Number four in a series. Well, you know, I've, it's funny. It, this week I've had two of my wives on the show. Who? You and Ronnie. Ah. That's not bad. No. And I still speak to number three, and I don't know whether uh, number f uh, one, one is alive or dead. I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know whether my number one. Well, I think he is. I think he's alive. He's well, retired I, in Boca. I had to think for a moment to remember her name. <laughs> my ex and his wife retired to Boca. Well, shall we do our, we shall we do our nightly tradition? Let me just show them what I mean here. This is our nightly tradition. This is part one of our nightly tradition. Right? You are embarrassing me. What? How am I embarrassing? This you? is old people food. This is when when your gums are so sore. This is all you can eat. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's right. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> oh, it, it's sugar-free Jello. Now, to, uh, today I I went off my diet completely because I got on the I'll scale. On, wait a minute, talk diet. And I was 182 pounds, and I don't like being that low. I think it looks so, best. So I I had some rigatoni and sauce tonight. Enough with the diet. And then it made my throat hurt. Enough with the diet and the ailments. This is the part I like best about it. Ready? Be best part about it. Uh huh. Uh huh. Um. Jesus Christ! I'm embarrassed. This is like being at a, at a senior, at a senior, <laughs> a senior social event. Yeah, we're at a senior social event. Okay, so now um, have you opened yours? Alex gets the extra large. Depends, by the way. Yeah, I use a different kind than she has. I, I go for the this. old chocolate. <laughs> I have this, and she goes for the double fudge chocolate. Yeah, and it's uh, sugar free. So let's dig in here, and just make is it my life exciting? Huh? huh? <laughs> mm. <laughs> Wait a minute. As I put my teeth in, in a glass and I nibble on, on pudding. 
It says video is unavailable. What happened here? Hold on a second. I got to check all this out. No one's going anywhere. Is it working? Oh, cold. Stop. Will you? Is that live stream? Yeah. It's, um, uh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Well, it, it is working. It just kind of petered out there, I think, for a second. And uh, there we go. Okay. So it's working there. And now I got to go over to GabNet. And uh, .net and see if I can get, you know this may be one of those nights when it stops working a lot you know and that that sucks but anyway um, a big part of your show is um, what's happening and why can't this work and why can't that work yeah well if nothing if, if if the picture keeps petering out and everything I am recording this so then after midnight I simply feed Put it, it up. together yeah I'm gonna turn on the air conditioning it's getting a little toasty in here. We, we still need air conditioning when you don't need air conditioning in here because it's not... Well, this is a very warm room and there's no ventilation. Hmm? There's no ventilation. Right. You Can't the open the window. Lights dim when I turned out the, the, on the thing. Did and you show everyone your new hat? Oh, yeah. This is a new U.S. Open hat. Um, Turn around to the side. The other side. There we go. 2017. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Are you eating yours? You know something? It got a little warm, and I don't like the taste. I'm going to put it back in the refrigerator. Oh, come on. Really? Come on. Just waste one just for the fun of it here on the show. I couldn't, you know. It's still, still cold. Mmm. -hmm. This, uh, this, this is what our life has become. This is our night and light treat. This is our life. Hmm? This is, this is the rest of our life. Yeah. You oh. are you are <laughs> witnessing the, the last chapter. <laughs> yeah, my leg is bothering me. My tooth enough, is bothering enough me. Enough with that, please. Can't we have a complaint-free no. evening? Oh, like boy. you get a fill-free evening. I want a complaint-free evening. Say that real fast. Let's see. Oh well, we had some problems with frames being dropped, so. You're that good. May, that may be it. Well, let's let's see what happens. CPU usage isn't too high, so <laughs> it's probably, I'm trying to do a show here, and all I can do is just constantly uh, look at the technical part of it. Well, that's that's you. Mm. Tell them about the fire. Fire number two. Fire number two. Fire in the hole. In the basement again. An electrical fire. Mm -hmm. It was what a three alarm fire. Well, they say it's an electrical fire. We don't. Exactly I'm trying to get a copy of the reports, and also from last year, from last Christmas. Yeah. It's not even a year. We've yeah. had two fires. Okay. Now, part two of our of our nightly ritual is this: sugar-free. Let me see here. Let me see Hershey's. Huh? Hershey's. Hers Hershey's sugar-free gazorchness. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna have that later too, because gonna, I'm, it, it, because I have nothing to wash it down with. Well, here I have some. Um, no. I have some Snapple. No. Diet free Snapple. I like it cold with ice. Diet Snapple. <laughs> Would you like to get me a glass with ice? I'll drink it. Oh jeez. Well, no, just well, leave it. If you it want to wait I, here and keep talking to these people, no, I'll no, go no, do no. It. I just don't want it right now. Oh, why don't you just go get? I it? I don't want it right now. Boy, I, I thought I did this because it did. would be fun for us to it do on the fun. air. It is fun. Munch, 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 munch. <laughs> no, I, I need liquid to do it. But we could talk. It doesn't mean we have to stop talking. Wait a minute. This is the old lady part of you talking. I always have to have liquid. Hamburgers must be definitely enveloped with ketchup and tomato. Really? It was a good hamburger I had today. Well, I, I kind of like this. Let me see. I'm just looking. I have to see if I have any frames dropped. It's all okay. It's working out okay. Anyway... Time oh, to turn the wind up. Wait, no, we no? do two of these every night. Okay, two of these right here. Okay? Please help me. <laughs> I'm, I, I don't want to break with tradition. I'm desperate, and I definitely need some assistance here. What? What's wrong? Huh? What, what do you mean? I'm assistance in what? I'm just talking to the world. Here's my second chocolate. We do cho two chocolates because oh these are very God. expensive. By is this the way. what life has gotten to? You get about seven or nine in a pack. He's older than me. And is this what I have to look like, forward they're like, to? Like three dollars a bag. Is this what I have to look forward to? Mm -hmm. I'm going to be a babbling idiot by the time I'm your age. You are young. No, I'm not your age. I'm younger. So there. Really? Yeah. I mean, his tooth is bothering me too. Help me. When you go back, when you leave later. 
Take the spoons with you. Oh, wait a minute. I can show you a trick. No, we me, put me on the spoon. nose. I have the picture. Give me the spoon. No. Give me the spoon. They haven't seen it. And this is, we have, we have TV here. We can do stuff with TV. Oh, Lord, please help me. I really am begging for assistance. Get me out of here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> here we go. The old spoon on the nose routine. Mm. Guess your nose got bigger. Hmm? Wait a minute. I have a picture I, of I, it. I, I can't do it anymore. I have a picture. I'll, I'll post the picture. That'll be better. I used to be able to I do know. this very easily. And I have a picture. I can't do it anymore. What's wrong? Well, you're getting older. I used to just make it stick to my nose. And it doesn't stick to my nose anymore. Why? Age. No. Here, here, here we're going to. There, we there you go. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. I took a photo many years ago. Yeah, there we go. That's how you. I took a photo many years ago, and I have it. I'll post it up. Yeah, there we go. Ah, uh, see the cutest. You didn't want me to do that. I guess when you're at that age, between your 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 pampers, your depends, which he gets extra large in a gray. Mm -hmm. Um. And the spoon on nose routine is just what I have to look forward to. Yeah. No. Anyway, the tooth is bothering me now. And the complaints. But it isn't infected because I can't do this. Help. It's infected. Hmm? Let's talk. What about what? Nothing about your ailments, nothing about your diet, nothing about our lawsuit. Anything other than those things. Well, that lawsuit is, goes Enough. on and on and <laughs> on and on. Now, the next thing is a, what do they call them? Oral arguments? Oral arguments, whether they should go on or dismiss. Or... No, 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 that isn't it at all. Oh, what is it? it? It's, it's oral arguments on whether the judge should suddenly decide for one party or another immediately. Right, immediately close it. He yeah. wants to close it. Well, he would like it to be closed on his behalf. Well, of course. He filed a motion to a whatever. Adjourn no, or dismiss. Adjourn. No, to uh, well, whatever. Whatever. For the judge to say, oh, I've looked at your case, and it's the best one. But then all of a sudden, the landlord filed one. Now, we haven't filed one because we don't need to. We let these two people battle it out and wait and see who. We're just the innocent victims. But yeah. so far, we're $36,000 to the lawyers. Yeah. And plus, I just got a bill for $29. $29. This was a good month. <laughs> it was a great month. It was a great week. Let's put it that way. What do you mean a great week? Because this only covered a couple weeks, $29. Oh. Oh. Okay, well, thirty-six. But probably, it's almost thirty-seven. Probably we won't see a big expense till our lawyer, and it won't be as much as he spent last month when he goes into court for a couple of hours. That's only going to be about eight hundred bucks. Hey, it's on the clock. You know, no, I'm saying, but it's about eight. From the time bucks. he leaves his office to walk okay, to the court. Okay, it could court. be twelve hundred dollars, <laughs> but that's sure cheaper than thirteen thousand. You know, but anyway, so so what they're doing is they're simply arguing whether the judge should make the decision, and what we're arguing is that he shouldn't. Or she shouldn't. It's a woman. Uh, she shouldn't because um, there are too many factors involved here, and that's what our what we're arguing. And so it's it. They, it he said it could be very interesting, <laughs> or nothing at all. <laughs> I might take a day off of work, and we might go and hit, listen oh, to it. Yeah, I think we, it'd be yeah. fun. Well, listen with the money we're paying. I want. I, I want, want. I want I the full package. I figure I got a ticket to this. Yeah, thing. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. You know, so uh, we'll see what happens. Either way, I mean, we don't care. We do care who wins. We want him to win because then he has money to pay us. Then you just pass the check to us directly. Yeah, just write it out. It doesn't us. even go to him. But that, uh, so anyway, that was our lawyer this week. Uh, we heard from him and he said that. But wait All a minute. Right. We he went was, through that status. Here's the thing. Next. You say, well, good, it's Alex. 1020. Good, Alex. That means. That means, Alex. That means, wait a minute, that means that this thing is uh, is almost over? No. No. To begin with, this thing is November 17th. 11th. 11th? No, 17th, I think. Uh, well, anyway, that week. I've got it on my <laughs> calendar. But it, November 17th. Two months away. Well, I mean, why? What, what? The judge doesn't take. Too many people a day, or what? no? They do take a lot of a day. That's why they have to log it in and, and book it. Well, there's so many lawsuits. It's going to fill up, and then it's right before the holidays. There, there should be something in our legal system that expedites stuff. 
Well, they do. They like small because, claims court. Do you know how many years we've been doing? Four. About, by the time this oral argument takes place, no, a two and a, three and a half years. Four. Three It'll and be a half. four this winter. No, no, yes. No, no, not this winter. We we stopped paying rent in April. Yeah, but the notices all started oh, all in that January. Stuff, all yeah. that stuff. Yeah, but uh, but you know, so I'm I'm still four sleeping. years. This winter, you, you, you're counting how long this has been. Like you count, I how, count from how, the time how, we got those those papers to get that get see, us the hell out of have, the apartment. That's how you come that's up with all these different celebrations that we have. You and know, your it's, point it's, is? It's, it's 13 years since we first uh, uh, went to a movie. Went to a movie. It's 13 years since we first uh, since I proposed to you. It's 13 years since we got married. Now, that's the one I'll go for, okay? But all the others, you know, it's just we're just a, a little bit overwrought, aren't we, on all this stuff? And your point is? My point is? I don't know what my point is. I've lost my point. Well, neither of us have kids. My so, tooth was bothering uh, We finished that, that, that update. You know, Ronnie said, are you still a hypochondriac? What and do you I think? Said, I said I'm worse than I was when I was with oh, you. Oh, God. Because I was back then, too. I, well, I can imagine. You, you know what my obsession was back then? I'm telling you this now. This is a great story. I had a lump in my back. I still have it. it wait a minute. Oh, yeah, it's still there. It's still kind of a lump. Were but, you born with it? No, but I don't know what it, what it is. It was like, and I, I think I finally one day asked the doctor to look at it. And he says, it's a fat sack, you know. He's, but I, I thought it was cancer. This was when I was in Houston, Texas, at KILT, right? Ronnie and I were husband and wife at the time. And I was always obsessing about it. Do you think this is cancer? Do you think this is, yeah. And Do you think I have the touch of the cancer? Yeah. That's what he says. But I, that was the thing I was obsessing on. And then I took LSD. Ah. And I worked it out. Well, I, because <laughs> LSD is a great psych, well, that's psychology, what it was used for. psychological drug, and I quit being a hypochondriac for about 10 years. Well, I wish those 10 years were now. Well, give me some acid. <laughs> okay. You know, I could probably come to terms with a lot of things, but either that or I would just completely freak out and go bonkers. You can't even stay in the smell. Did you ever do LSD? Yeah. Yeah, how many times? Well, when I went to Mexico for three months... I went with 30 tabs. Really? Yeah. You didn't do 30 tabs. No, but you took little pieces and, you know. Well, you know, you can only do it once every three days. Well, um, Because if you take LSD and then the next day you take it again, it won't work. Yeah, well, because it's got to go out of your system. Yeah. I don't think it was LSD. It was... Um, oh, well, now I asked well, no, you about LSD. No, but it was an hallucinatory... It was um, not mushrooms. Um, it was a little blotter. Paper. A little blotter? Paper. Yeah. The, the tab. Whoops. 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 Yeah. So. That was fun. It was yeah. three months. I knew I was going to get fired from my job because a new administration came in. Yeah. So I took three months and came back and got fired. Oh, okay. <laughs> so anyway, so, I mean, I uh, I took it maybe, I don't know, 10. 10, 24. 10, I know, 10, 15 times. Yeah. And then I, one day I finally freaked out. I had one, I had a bad trip. And that was the last one. Yeah, well, I don't want you taking it on my watch because it'll be a very bad trip. Because somebody decided they were going to take me for a ride. And I didn't want to go, but they took me for a ride. And as I drove, I saw cars imploding into each other. It, it accentuates <laughs> whatever you're feeling yeah. inside. Yeah, and I was, it was just not the day for me yeah. to take LSD. Grass does that, too, in a sense. Huh? Grass does that, too. Oh, well, grass, uh, can, uh, can, you can get really wacky on, on, the, on yeah. that stuff, you know. I don't smoke pot anymore. You do. I could smell it all the way in the guest room so? with the door shut. With so? The door sh no, but, uh, what are you, the campus cop? No, but I mean, it, it, to get that much aroma wafting down the hallway past a door into the next room where we have these very thick walls and nothing could be coming anywhere else but down the hallway. And your means, point is? Means you were really smoking it a lot there. Right. And, 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 and then what she does, here's what she does. She walks out of the room to smoke the pot. Well, I'll tell you why. We have a ceiling fan in the bedroom, and you can't light the lighter. Oh, is that why? You don't, yeah. don't leave because you out of deference to me because I don't no, do it. No, no. It's the fan. I can't light it. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. I told you that. I didn't know that was the case. Yeah. Okay. 
How do you feel about being on three separate feeds at one time? Wonderful. Yeah, and it looks like it's it looks like like everything's holding. And it looks yeah. like it's ten twenty six. But, but you you can hardly wait to get out of here, right? Is that your is that your whole pitch here? My whole pitch. Yeah. It's that's, Friday that's night. And I'm tired. Thing. You're tired. I am. I have to do a show and I'm tired. Yeah, but I woke up really early. Tonight's the only night that I'm doing coffee to get me through it. I Here usually, we go I, again. no, usually I do tea. Here we go again. Hmm. What do you mean? Here we go again. Here we go again. No. Yes. Here we don't go again. Anyway, uh, should I roll on and, over? And you're going to China in a, what a week? Hong Kong, Sunday. a week Sunday. To Hong Kong for five days for our annual meeting. It's sixteen hours. I can sleep diagonally on you the bed. Any way you want. Yeah. Yeah. Gonna have all my girlfriends over. All of them. Yeah. Just change the sheets before I come home. Oh no, I'm gonna leave the pecker <laughs> tracks on. I'm gonna roll well, over. You don't, no, you, no, no, you're not gonna roll over yet. I <laughs> see. I had to go out and find a clock online because I lost my clock. Well, whose fault is that? So now I have a clock. So there you and go. And I can see that that clock is not at ten thirty. And yet. your point is. And that point is, I'm gonna keep talking. And I'm gonna roll over. Yeah. We don't have a very large viewing audience. Well, whose fault well, is actually, that? You're talking about your ailments. Who wants to hear what that? Are you, what are you coming over here for? Because it's, it's almost uh, time. Uh, uh, it's almost time. It's almost, almost time. time. Here, I have to do this so that you can be heard. Yeah. So. Hi. Hmm. Now, get the turn it this what? Way. No, no. If I know what I'm doing. I've been doing this all my life, you know? Really? And you've never done it. So That's true. It, it was fun having Ronnie on yesterday because number one, I think that was one of the better interviews I've done lately. Okay, mm -hmm. because she she really is very interesting, mm -hmm. and uh, it's the first time we have ever been on the air together since I think WPLJ in New York, where occasionally I'd say something to her and she'd say something back. But we've never done a thing like she and I did last yeah, night, that's good. and so we're gonna. I'm gonna try and do more with her okay. if, if she's up to it. Yeah, you know, of she's got this chemo coming up, and who knows yeah. how that will affect her or slow down her life or slow her down. But everybody was so nice of you last night to say such nice things about her. It was nice. And uh, 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 and I have to say, she looks great. She really looks great. She looks better than I than I've seen her maybe most of her life. She has a certain regal quality about her now, and cancer she, agrees with she, her. Cancer agrees with her. I mean, it's strange, but it's true. <laughs> you know, and anyway, and it, and it brought out the the best in her as well. So, yeah. let me just move a few things here. See, I mean, here's the thing: I not only do this show, but I I you know I You're run the this. Huh? Well, the I producer. have to do all the, the all the, all the te I have to do all the technical stuff. I have to watch it. See? Well, you knew that. That was part of the acceptance when you decided when I to took do the job <laughs> yeah hey it's uh 10 30 no no it's uh, just the 10 29 almost there yeah and and here's the, the same th clock we have two clocks in the uh, in the bedroom is it and and you want me to what is your whole thing with you want me to uh, change the clock because it's one minute off from a the other clock? A minute and a half. A minute and a half off from off. the cable box. I see, and so you want to change it. Well, it'd be nice to have it the same. Yeah, I'm just uh, cleaning up this mess here. There we go, and we're gone. And let me turn on the lines just okay. so that they can uh, they can think about calling. Good idea. All right, and please call. And here we are, and uh, like two. Please help me. Oh, here come! Oh, here's Jason. He's the first one Jason. up tonight, because Jason. Jason's gets, wife. Ja oh, look uh, at that. Uh, uh, there, wait a minute! Hold it! Hold it! Hold it! I've got to! I've got to uh, go picture. to you. There we go. Oops. Let me get rid of the uh, gabnet. Oh, that's great! Uh, look at that. The gabnet live, which is right in your right face. Oh my God, that's um, great! Let me see here. There we go. See, uh, see that? He knows the trick. He got right? it. You gotta, you gotta <laughs> let it get just dry enough. It, yeah. See, the trick is you just go. You don't actually lick it. Oh, really? Some, some I've never, I never did it that way myself. I kind of licked it and then I waited it. for it to kind of get. Hey, look, Mark, and he's not lying down on a bed either. <laughs> he's sitting up. <laughs> Yeah, how about that for a change? How Are you about, in the path of the hurricane? How about Did that you, for a change? Get out of town. Yeah. Uh, uh, right now, mm -hmm. at this moment, 
Yeah. We're, 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 we're screwed. <laughs> That's all I can say. My it's brother's right. yeah, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yes, I, you're, down, you're where now again? You're, I'm in Naples. You're in oh, Naples. God. My brother's yeah. right across the Miami Beach. Yeah, so, so is it going to hit you in Naples? Based on the path now, now that can change, Alex, in the next 12 to 18 hours. Right. Where's it coming uh, first? I think it's going to head more into the Gulf, but based on now, it's it, it, it's like oh this is not good. <laughs> you know. I think if you're in Florida, it's going to hit you. Uh, it's going to yeah, hit. Yeah, we're bone. Oh yeah. I mean, it's like it, 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 this thing. I was here for Wilma back in uh, 2005, and that was not fun. This, this thing is, worse. is like monstro. You yeah. know, it's it's like oh. And that's the scary thing is if it hits the Gulf at all, it can just get stronger. Yep. So yeah. Uh, one one home is battened down as much as possible, yeah. uh, and I'm over at my mom's because she's in a much stronger place and uh, on a fifth floor. So yeah, yeah. Oh joy. <laughs> well, how do they feel your place will handle the storm? It's well. Here, here's here's the thing to think about, Alex. Mm-hmm. Both homes have already weathered one hurricane. <laughs> so, well, okay, Andrew, okay, Andrew. all right. Okay. Is it Andrew? Uh, something like that. Andrew. Yeah. No, no. This was Wilma. Oh. This was 2005. So, uh, you know, if it hurt, if it handled it once, fine. Second time, it's got to be a shoe in. You know, you know so, if they uh, ever had a sense of humor when they had Wilma, they would have had the next one be Fred and the next <laughs> one be uh, yeah. Barney. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> so it, it's funny, this storm is named Irma, and that's my mom's name. And I told her, I said, you know, it's just, it's fitting because I heard the storm's one mean bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it's Irma? Well, I was Irma. Thinking, it, it, it is Irma, isn't it? And there's one right behind it, Jay. Yeah. Jay. yeah. What's the name? Now, incidentally, a little trivia, I don't know if it means anything, and uh, I don't know if you're going to be in awe of my little piece of trivia. You know what the trivia is going to be, uh, Mark? I, is it my friend Irma? Yes. The yeah, first movie to feature who? Uh, Martin and Lewis. That's right. Very really? good. Mark. Wow. Mm-hmm. See? I thought it was going to be that Irma is a German name and means warrior goddess. So it's no, kind of no. fitting two of the Zena, well, Zena means that. You know. well, not German. <laughs> anyway. Hello, Rob. Hey, Rob. Good evening, all. How are you? Yes, you may notice that voice. He is on every promo we run over and over and Wait, yeah, I, I hope heard he... the history of talk radio one again, and I was about to put a, a bullet in my head. Yeah, well, you know, in a couple of weeks, you'll be moving into the new house, you'll build your studio, and we'll get new promos. Two weeks from tomorrow. Wow, yeah. that really happened fast. So, yeah. It did. Yeah, well, that, that's the way they, that's, a, that, what, that's what Whole happens summer. when you buy your home from Costco. <laughs> I right. like those miniature little homes that people are moving huh? into. Yeah. The little tiny homes. I have too much stuff. Really? So do you. What do you mean? Have to, you have too much stuff? This apartment. Oh, well, if we ever have to leave here, we're just going to kill ourselves. No, just walk out and leave it. <laughs> walk out and leave everything. You know, at some point, I think you should do that in your life. Is just pick up and go, and just leave everything behind. Because, and I mentioned this before, that as your life goes on, you're like a giant snowball. Then you keep gathering more and more stuff, and, and on, more and stuff, and on. more stuff. And well, we it, all do that once. Yeah. We pick up and leave and don't yeah. take anything with us. Yeah. I take everything with me. That's my problem. Yeah. The uh, only time I did that was when I left the womb. <laughs> <laughs> and the and the last time will be after you, when you on your way back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You'll leave it all here. By My the way, wife's grandma, for everybody, she's like 95 years old, and she's wow. she's already starting to get rid of stuff because she's just like, you know, when I die, I just want to make it easier on people. <laughs> for everybody, anybody who's listening to us on GabNet on uh, the GabNet.net page, uh, in order to get the audio, just click on uh, the 24-7 feed on the pause button to turn off that audio, and then you can turn the audio of the video on by going down to the bottom. And there's a, a little speaker, and you uh, you click on the X, and they, you get sound out of that. Yeah, that's the way you do that. You can also find us tonight on Facebook at Al, A Bennett at Facebook at facebook.com forward slash A Bennett. You can also find us 
at uh, facebook.com forward slash gabnet live and itunes uh, no that no that, that, no we, there's no live itunes soundcloud soundcloud now i don't yeah. why should i do that i'm you, my own soundcloud uh, youtube huh YouTube, YouTube? No, YouTube isn't live. There's nothing you can do on YouTube live. I thought you could. The, all, you the could only too. way you can, you can get our audio live on YouTube. Uh, no, but, there, but we have yeah, it. I know people that do live yeah. on YouTube. Yeah. Video yeah. Yeah. Do do live video? video? Scrolling little thing that Facebook has, too, where you can communicate back and forth. Yep. Messenger. Well, I'm the cigar to... guy I watch does it live on YouTube. All yeah. the time. Well, what is he? How did, how and, did... so does, and so does Bill Maher. So well, I know that they, you know that. some of these big shot people can get Facebook to create the system for them, but I never thought that iTunes had a system where I could go live. Not iTunes. No, YouTube. 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 Oh, I can go live on YouTube. Yeah, but I yeah. I can't do both at the same time. Why not? Because I only have one system here to to send out the show. With all your bandwidth, you can't do two. No, I can't. I. I I can do two. I have a program here, live stream studio, which will allow me to do live stream. Will allow me to do. I did it one night here, not on a Saturday night. Live stream, get uh, 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 YouTube, and a Periscope, and um, what's the other one? Facebook, and all code. at the same time. Okay. Wow. Uh, we interrupt this program. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But I mean, we've got like two. the president on all three major networks. <laughs> yeah, and, <laughs> and so that's you know that's 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 my uh, my situation. You know, I mean, it, it, uh, it I can do it. I can do that, but I have to use another program, and that program is on another machine, and I don't like the way faith the way, the way uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Skype looks. Can I interrupt for a minute? Yes. Um, all the past presidents did this audio, this video about they didn't invite Trump. So on his Twitter page, he kind of says, "I stand with the presidents." Yeah, I saw that. But he wasn't invited. He wasn't invited. No. no, the guy who did it is from like Texas, who got the whole thing together and just said they say he said he wouldn't have him on unless he had all the other living presidents with him. And then he said, but I might make an exception if he can just bring um, Barack Obama. But you know Barack Obama wouldn't show up in the same place with Donald Trump. I mean, that's a virtual impossibility. Yeah. It'd be a good fight. What? It'd be a heck of a good fight. Yeah, yeah. Now, Mike did something today. It. Mike did something today. He sent me a picture of Donald Trump's the house in which Donald Trump was born. And I had to inform him that he apparently doesn't pay any attention to my Facebook page because a couple What's of up? weeks ago I had live video as we were driving by his old home. Yes. And then we went down the street and around the corner to the, the second home his parents had, which is a much more colonial-style mansion uh, in um, what, what, what part of Queens? Uh, Wait, Astoria? In, no, no, not Astoria. Oh. It's where the Shaggy lives. Um, I'll remember it in a second. Blank yeah, queens. but uh, but I pass by the old Trump mansion every time I go out to see Shecky, and then he just went and back, and we did it live. And you never watch my Facebook page, do you, Mike? So there. And with that, no. I'm going to say good night. No, no. Well, at least I don't put a spoon in my top of my nose. Yeah, and chase my I'm saying good night. Good night. I love spoon on nose. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you know, if you could do that, if you could do that, Mike, you would have a talent. You know, but but uh, that's. Uh, ah! Ah, look at that! Look at that! He, he, he did it longer. He I can do. Longer, I can Alex. do longer too, because I have a much bigger nose. I was just gonna say you're a Jew. I thought you'd be able to do it forever. Yeah. yeah well, I hadn't done it in so long <laughs> that I forgot exactly how to do it. Usually, I get it wet and then I let. I do keep doing it till it gets just, just tacky enough that I can do it. Right. But you're right. If you just go. <sighs> Probably that's enough to do it. I, I didn't know that trick. I'll have to do that from here on in, you know. Um, it's, uh, it's amazing. So anyway, I have, a, I have a new clock up here that I'm using on the screen. It looks like a regular clock. You don't I, need a time check every once in a while? Yeah, yeah, yeah go ahead and mm -hmm. do that. Yeah. 2240, what's with, you, what's with you military time? Hey, then I know if it's a.m. or p.m. Wait, it, it, doesn't it say PM or AM? On, 
No. Hey. Did you ever, as a kid, like wake up at like no, six thirty at night? You like you took a nap. You woke up at six thirty at night. And you're like, oh shit, I'm late for school. <laughs> I've done that as an adult. Oh, yeah, I, really? I here's what I did. I was working in Reno, Nevada, and I got off my show at six o'clock in the morning, and I drove home, and the sun was just coming up. And I got into my apartment, and I hopped into bed, and I went to sleep, and then I woke up, and I looked out the window, and the sun was just going down. I said, boy, I slept a long time. So I get, I said, I better hurry up and get down to the station so I can prepare my show. And I put my clothes on, and I drive down to the station, and when I finally get there, they go, what are you doing here? It's only 8 o'clock in the morning. I thought I had slept like 12 hours or 10 hours or something like that, and you know, so that was not worth telling, was it? Anyway, uh, this is the uh, this is the ramble, folks, where we take Skype calls from people, and I'm sure we'll have a few more before the night is out. Uh, Remember, there's no fill tonight. It's there's no fill tonight. Friday. It's a fill-free night. That means that Mark will be able to get a word in edgewise. That means that uh, everybody will be able to get a word in edge wise, but uh, there, there's something lovable about Phil, though. I'm, oh, absolutely. I'm, I'm saying that now that he's not here, you know, people say, you, you, "Girlfriend says to me, oh, you're so mean to him," and I said, "He understands, you know. It's the way we play with each other, you know." And and I've written him many times and just said, "Hope I wasn't too hard on you tonight, you know. It's all just show business, you know." But I. I don't like his politics. I, 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 I don't even believe he believes his politics. But yeah, let's, I don't you know. Oh, I do. You do believe, believe that he, he be I believe he believes it. I don't think he's telling a story. I, I think he's doing it. He believes it. Okay. I, he's a straight Republican. No, he's really not. He's more of a one of those birch. I, yeah, the, well, I don't think he libertarian. I, I don't think he really has any any core beliefs. To be honest with you, I think they. You know, uh, I think he makes them up, um, but I don't know. I, I've never. I. I. And whenever we've ever talked off the air or had any kind of communication off the air, it was never political or anything like that. You know, because that's the kind of thing we say for our special time on the air, but. Uh, so Phil's not here tonight, and like Trump, when Trump isn't around, you still talk about him. It's amazing. Uh, what do you think about the fact that uh, I, I, there's I, not I, a lot of Trump news going on because you put on the news and all you get is hurricane coverage, and so Trump's well, really he, taking a back seat. Well, he get, got Trump by two hurricanes so far. Yeah, you exactly. Know? He must love it. Though. But you know what? You know what happens when the news operations go into hurricane mode? It's unrelenting it's too much yeah it's too much i mean i turned it on this morning to get an update about nine o'clock yeah and i'm watching it and i'm thinking to myself they're gonna go balls to the wall coverage and it's not gonna hit till sunday morning what are they gonna do tomorrow all day same thing i mean there's only so many angles you know the stragglers why are you staying here explain to me do you realize how dangerous it is uh, you know, talking to the politicians, the local politicians, they hit every angle, and then in about an hour and a half, rinse and repeat. They do it all again, and that's just every 15 or so hours. It's the same news because they keep hitting the same. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 yes. Uh, Jason. Jason. Uh, see, I'm getting old. I'm getting old. Hey, I'm surprised you didn't say Sabrina's husband, even though she hasn't been on here in like two years. <laughs> Does she hate us? Uh, Does she hate us? Or she, she, uh, she's she's not into this anymore. But really? you, you know, one thing that I was curious about, and sorry, I have to kind of go long on the story. Like I was watching one of these little doctor science show or whatever when I was younger, and they were showing a helicopter. And they're asking, you know, this little model helicopter, how much does it weigh? And if you actually fly it over a scale, does it weigh the same amount? So they did that little test on the on the show. Mm -hmm. And sure enough, you fly the helicopter, you know, a couple of feet over the scale. The scale still registers the same amount of weight. So does a hurricane... Wait a minute, registers the same amount of weight work? as if the helicopter if were was, on the scale? on the scale, yes. Why? Or if you're flying it right above it. Because it, it's moving the air, so it's still... 
you know, it's pushing that air down onto the scale. But is it the same weight as the helicopter? Yes. Really? Because it has to display, display, displace the same amount of weight in order to get up in the air. Otherwise, it wouldn't get up in the air. Mm, okay. So does a hurricane do the same thing? And if you got two of these massive hurricanes coming at the same time into this, you know, over a tectonic plate, could that have possibly caused an earthquake in Mexico? No. Uh, no, but boy, I don't, but boy, that I, sounds I, I don't think so. I mean, I do so know. Global of, warming causes earthquakes. Yeah, I do know. But we just lost Mark's picture. He's whirling oh, around there. Uh, turn off your what? camera and uh, turn it back on. Jason, oh, there we go. No. Jason, no, because the, uh, the uh, plates like the fault lines like in Mexico, they go so far you know, into the ocean. It's not close by. It's because the earth is moving so much. When the earth decides. But hey, screw you, screw I see what Jason is trying to say. I think, I think I know what Jason's trying to say is that uh, he's talking about a helicopter. That if you put 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 a toy helicopter over a scale and you just inches above it, I guess it will displace air and push the scale down and be about the same weight as the little toy helicopter. So the question is, if you have a hurricane that's whirling and whirling and, and putting a lot of pressure down because it becomes very high pressure, you know, the it become a high pressure area, could it cause a um, uh, an earthquake? I don't know. I don't think so. But there, you know, there is a, a case for it, Mark. I think you're looking. You're you're forgetting the weight of total the total weight of the Earth pushing back. You know, it's simple physics, really. I don't. It's, I, it's a lot of moisture in the air. Oh, uh, yes. as huge oh, as that storm is, the amount of weight that that would. Now, bring. where was the earthquake? Mexico. Uh, Mexico. 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 And and it was like a, it was like an eight or something I heard eight point one yeah it was whoa. bad whoa that is very bad I, I was in, I was in a seven one and that's pretty bad but when you get to an eight one it's not like it only goes up an eighth that's like what on the Richter scale it's something like a hundred times like double more. for every point or something yeah yeah. Um, and my, that's what my wife was saying too. You know, you got the hurricanes in the ocean. You got all these wildfires going on out west. You have the earthquake in Mexico. You have tigers running loose on the highway in uh, in uh, what was it, uh, Georgia. She's like, it's Jumanji coming real. Well, this, no, this is like a uh, got the, the uh, biggest one. You got Donald Trump in the White House. Yeah, too. right. Uh, but <laughs> it, it, this really is. It is kind True. of scary all the way around. It looks like a big it's disaster. It's a big disaster movie. Yeah, you know, and the it, the good news is that the one that's following it, Juan or whatever is Jose, yeah. that one is not going to uh, that one is not going to affect the U.S. Well, you know, who got, be sure uh, will. Uh, you know uh, who got wiped out in this area. right now? It's it's turning towards. Uh, they're pretty well sure that it's going to turn out towards C. Because I thought it was taking. Well, it's going to turn out to, towards C before it, it hits my. So I heard today before it hits Miami. Uh, it's it's supposed to. It's not going to really get close to the coast at all, according to CNN. It's so, gonna, so in other words, start spinning what, east. What do you tell south. all these people who have been told to leave town? No, no, no. The the, the one that's Irma is going to hit, and it's oh, going to hit hard. Okay. The the, the one that's it following, better now after all this news stuff. You know, the one that's following it, and Jose also because I'm no. counting on it since you know I hate Miami. Anyway, go ahead. Sorry, Mark. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I'm not in that area. I have to go to Orlando in October. In October, what do you think the chances are that'll be? Canceled? Well, I mean, you're going to go to what's left of Orlando. That's think. what I'm thinking. You know, I'm wondering maybe I won't have to go. I got a better one for you guys. I'm supposed to go on a cruise to the Baham to the uh, oh. Caribbean in December. <laughs> oh boy, you're going to go cruise. You know, the a lot of those people who took cruises, they brought the boats back early. To let them off and get them out of there. Well, what they did is they brought them back, and they're in Miami. And they dropped them off. Now, now, try, right? now yeah. try getting the fuck out of Miami. You know, why would have they just gone out into the ocean and sat out there for? A what they should have done is they should have said, "Princess Tours wants you to know that we love you, and therefore we're staying away from Miami until the coast is clear." And yeah, you get a couple of extra idea. days. We got enough food. We'll party. We'll go down to somewhere else and get. Food for the boat and everything, and it's on us. But no, it seems to be weird that they that they didn't do that. 
You, I thought that's what I would have done if I owned a cruise ship company. I would have yeah. said, yeah, we're going to take a loss on this deal, but we're going to look really good for it. You know, we're going to keep these people safe. We're going to keep you away from the stone, the, the storm. storm areas. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, uh, Mike. They were saying that Miami has all these constru uh, construction cranes, those uh -huh. high cranes. They were saying the crane, one of the crane operator goes, "Well, we can't do nothing really. The thing's going to spin around like a like a weather vane." Yeah, yeah. I'm just thinking, you know, you can't stop once those things start going. Yeah. If the wind you know, hits one, a, fell, it, one fell during uh, Superstorm Sandy in New York. Yes, yes, yes. yes. They say they're rated up to like 145 mile an hour winds. Yeah. Yeah. Well, how but fast are these winds supposed to be? <laughs> 180. 180. Yeah. <laughs> well, so much for uh, uh, for insurance, you know. I have a friend that just moved, I think, a month and a half ago to Merritt Island, Florida. Yeah. <laughs> oh, perfect yeah. timing. Well, you know who really got caught up in this storm is Richard Branson. He has an island out in the, you know, out in, out in that area, out in the Caribbean. Uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, Necker Island or something like that. And um, it's where Obama stayed after he was through being president. He stayed there for a couple of weeks just to chill out. That's where you got, had all those great pictures of seeing our buff president. And uh, that whole island got flattened. It's just, you know, because he has a lot of, like, you know, wood structures to live in, so you feel like you're living in a hut and things like that. It's also very uh, posh. Uh, and it's not a, he doesn't, it's his island for him to live on, and then he invites people to come visit him. He does, it's not like you rent the island out, although I think he does rent it occasionally. But anyway, it got flattened. He, you know, but I don't feel sorry for him because, you know, Richard Branson's got more money than God, so he just simply says, okay, bring it in, rebuild. Here's the way it looked. Just do it. I'll come back in a couple of months and just pretend like it's the old place. You know. Hello. Donald Trump is probably called the uh, insurance company on you know, the south of Florida. Yeah. Going, yeah. Hopefully that house is insured enough. Well, anyway, the thing is, hi Patrick. Hola. Yeah. Hola. Hola. It's an hola from Patrick. Anyway, uh, we. Uh, so the thing is that what I uh, uh, that. Um, I'm watching the news, and here's Lester Holt, and he's in fucking Miami. Now, first of all, why do they do this? I mean, why does Lester Holt have to go to Miami? By doing the news he from said down he's there. He's before the storm hits. No, I know, but from by doing the show from down there, is he improving the situation at all? No. Sensational television, that's all. And and I didn't look at the other networks, but I'll bet each of the other anchors were down there, too. Am oh, I yeah. right, pa CNN uh, Patrick? They had somebody in, in Cuba today. They had somebody in, uh, I mean, did you see the guy that, who couldn't put his jacket on? He was All of a sudden, the winds whipped up. He was in Cuba, I oh, believe. Well, you know, we're going to have that asshole. Yeah, who, who, when the storm finally hits, is going to be standing out there to say, <laughs> well, it's just terrible here. I think Geraldo did that. You know, you know the one, let me. I'm going to go to Patrick next. But the best story I have about that is there was a woman here on television when there was a big flood out in New Jersey, and she's standing in wader boots in the water up to up above her knees, right, saying it's been a big flood here. And in back of her is an embankment where she could be standing on it and not be in the water. That's what those people do. Oops. Yes, Patrick. And I think it was either MSNBC or CNN. There was a, uh, a reporter, and she she reported from a wind tunnel. Yep. And she showed what it was like, and she got up to 125 miles an hour, and that was as much as she could physically take. But she were, they were showing on the bottom of the screen, because she could no longer talk after, like, 90 miles an hour, that this is a Category 2. There's a category, I think she got up to category three, and then she couldn't anymore. That is, that to me was more demonstrative of what it would be like than the idiot standing out there in the rain, because, I mean, she would, there were four cables she was holding on to, and she had the goggles on, yeah, and so. she, afterward they interviewed her, and she said, 
I could feel the skin on my neck vibrating. And that was when I knew it was too much. You know, and I mean, I'm looking at that and I'm going, now that's smart reporting. Yeah, because but- you're showing everything that these other idiots are doing out risking their lives without sensationalizing it. It was educational. Well, you know, you know, the most dispensable person on any news team is the weatherman. And uh, that's always the guy they send down to the hurricane to be in the middle of it. And NBC is sending, I swear, Al Roker down there to be there when the hurricane hits. Now, I'd like to think that my weatherman was a little smarter and could get out of the rain. Okay. I thought Al said he was getting out of there, too, before it hit. Oh, really? Because I saw him standing next to How did they uh, get out of there? Buster Holt. I guess guess NBC has, like, helicopters, and they just medevac them out or something. I was just going to say, what did they have? Hawker Harriers that just come in, drop, go up, and then, you know, go out at the speed of sound? I mean, what the fuck? But at the same time, I saw one today that uh, it was a guy doing the same thing in a wind tunnel, and they're showing him. I don't remember they didn't get up to as high as the hurricane is supposed to be, but they showed him attached. You know, I said, and mind you, this guy is attached to a cable. You know, so they had a cable strapped around his belt holding him in place, and he had the eye goggles on, and his face is beat red. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. I think that was the uh, NBC, uh, NBC News. The guy, the guy was. Am I correct, uh, Wayne? ABC oh, whatever News. His name. Jason. Probably. Jason. Yeah. Jason. Yeah. yeah, Wayne. Wayne. Yeah, uh, he's. And your wife, Sheila. By <laughs> Wayne, I must just make, <laughs> be getting around. Yeah. Uh, but uh, uh, I, I just think that this walls to the balls to the wall reporting on this thing just gets a, you know, and they're all afraid to drop it. You know, uh, I uh, if you've ever noticed when there's like a major tragedy or something and like they're carrying it or something like that, each one of them will keep carrying it and carrying it and carrying it until one drops out. And then when one drops out, they all start dropping out. Nobody wants to be the last man standing, you know. Is Fox doing it wall to wall? Oh, yeah. Oh, they are too. In By the way, I'm not picking my nose, folks, but I have an itchy nose tonight. There's a hair that's going the wrong way. Anyway, go ahead. Uh, in fact, on Fox, they're worse than the other two, CNN or MSNBC, because during the commercial break, the commercial takes up two-thirds of the television <laughs> screen, and one-third is the map of the hurricane. Now, the other networks aren't doing that, but I just turned on Fox, and I saw that that was happening. And I just checked the other two, and they weren't doing it at commercial break. Wow. Wow. Do they give it a uh, a right spin? Do they figure out how to spin it? No. no. Uh, uh, I always wonder, do the Ma- people advertising yeah. get a break on it when they don't get the full screen? Right. Mark, your hand is up. Well, the, the TV market down here, uh, this is where people get their start. <laughs> you know, professionally, yes, it is. You know, it's they're, true. They're just, just out of journal school. This is their first, like, you know, okay. And you can see these guys are learning the ropes. It's kind of sweet in a way, but... Uh, well, what I love about them is watching... I would love to be down there to watch local television, because you're right, that's, yeah, where, that's, they, a, that's yeah. where they start, right? And then seeing a big tragedy and see them doing mock sympathy. I, I, I love <laughs> when that happens, you know. But actually, <laughs> oh my God, the Jones family—they were so precious to their neighbors. <laughs> you know, actually, they, wet, wet your wet your cheek here, so you look like you're crying. Yeah. Then they I get think, off camera and they go, "That was a great life shot." Y- yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> the one thing I've I've noticed, Alex, is that now the remote crew is the reporter. I mean, they send like one person out with the truck. Yeah. And this person is their own camera person. You know, it's no longer two or three people. Well, right? That started here, I believe, in New York with like uh, this uh, this local New York kid, One. New York One. They yeah. had yeah, one man right. crews. They would go out with their camera. They would set the camera up. You know, uh, that was a big controversial thing back then because everybody kept saying, you know, the other guy is he's the guy the camera guy is actually protecting. You know, the, the reporter, because the reporter is focused and busy, the camera guy could actually look out and make sure that someone doesn't 
accost them while they're on the air or do you know yeah. they're, they're they're focused but that's yeah. that's set the precedent well it's pretty much one man show everywhere now you know i was i was doing some shooting last weekend of my friend jack and uh, uh with a uh, gopro and with that thing which i can't get working anymore the the uh the you know the what do they call it they call it the karma grip it's a it's it's like a steady cam it's an amazing thing. I took and I did it in 4K, and I looked at the pictures when I came back, and I went, "How come they don't shoot movies with this shit?" <laughs> you know, because it looked. They do, Alex. Huh? They're starting they to. They're starting to. A lot of times when I heard the Game of Thrones was using GoPros for some stuff, like when they wanted to take a uh, 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 a drone shot, uh, that they would shoot with it. There's, I know this is like a side thing, but there's one bit of footage that GoPro uses to sell their product, and mm -hmm. it's the one where they're using, um, they put two GoPros on a sounding rocket going right up to the edge of space. And if that doesn't convince you that, that yeah. these are tough little cameras. Yeah, but the Karma <laughs> Grip, I never can get, I always, it never works right. I can't get it in sync with itself. I'm going to work on it in the next couple of days. But I, I did use it out in Fire Island, and the stuff I took was just so smooth. It was like, you know, uh, it was so professional looking. And then the quality at 4K was stunning. And I'm thinking, where did they get the, you know, the lens and the, and, the, and the, you know, the pickup device and all of that that's capable of doing this sort of thing? Amazing. Just amazing. But anyway, let's get back to uh, uh, television people and, and how embarrassing they can be. I mean, when they're trying to all get a story and be better than the next guy at getting the story, it, it, it can get brutal. It can just get brutal. Uh, and so down in your neck of the woods, as you say, you get all the trainees. Well, and this is something that boggles my mind. Yeah. Uh, the NBC affiliate and the ABC affiliate are owned by the same company and they use the same building. So I don't know how legally that happened, but it did. Wait a minute, say what, what, say what again? Uh, NBC. The NBC affiliate and the ABC affiliate are owned by one company. Oh, that's, and they yeah. share the, they that, share the same. Yeah, that's quite possible. Yeah. Yeah, they share the same, they share the same facility. Yeah. I mean, there's different studios, but it's just weird you go there and there's one studio, there's one talking person doing the news for NBC, and there's the other ABC person, and they're literally right next door to each other. And it's pretty funny. What, what, happened, what happens is, and this happened to me in radio, okay, is that these stations, these owners buy a couple of stations in the market, maybe three or four stations. And mm -hmm. usually with TV, it's usually they own two of them. They don't own like three or four, but two. And they then, to cut costs, all housed them in the same building. Now, they did that with radio. I was in a building with seven other radio stations in the market, and I did a morning show, and I'm going, how am I supposed to knock these guys' brains out when I know them, when they're in the same place with me? You know, I was used to being in my own radio station, and then we were just kill, kicking ass against the co competition. But now the competition is next door. So, you know, Jim Lang had a show over at another, my station in the studio next door to me. And oh, uh, during, well, the, during the, same the break, thing happened to uh, dur dur well, down here, yeah. Alex. I don't know if you're Facebook friends with Liz Wild. No, I don't know. Okay, who she she, is. she's um, that happened to her because again, same owners. They own these TV and yeah. So and well, I you know, yeah. I, I would meet Jim Lang in the hall, and we for like five minutes. He had a break, you know. He had I had a break for the news and the commercials, and we'd talk about stuff. And by the way, great guy. Lovely guy, very left wing. I mean, incredibly left wing. Too bad we lost him. Anyway, uh, uh, and we would just sit there and talk to each other, and then I'd say, "Well, goodbye. I'm going back in to beat your brains out." And he said, "Me too." You know, I mean, it's just it, it's so. I I understand why they had the two TV stations in the same building. They 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 if they had them in separate buildings and they had separate sales departments and they had separate everything, it well, would cost them I twice as like, much. What do you have? Separate rate cards? Oh yeah, like okay. <laughs> well, the rates are based on ratings. So whoever got the best ratings was making yeah. the most money for the you know they would the rates would be appro appropriate to that to that rating. But What's I know that the. I worked at a station where we had 
three radio stations, or I should say a company that had three radio stations in the building, and I worked for the one where the station did great, and we <laughs> couldn't celebrate, because you would, it, would it would be, be perceived as being snobby, or, you know, here you guys, you know, we were finally, you know, really picking up in the book, and we were trying to celebrate it, and you're doing it low-key, because the country station next door, they went in the tub, you know, in the, in the tank. So well, when like, I when I was when I was starting out in this business, I mean, you you had a, one radio station. You could only own one radio station in a market, and so you were always your own building, your own studios, your own sales staff, and all of that. By the time I got towards later on in my career, with all these people buying up every property that was alive, that's why iHeart Radio is about to go bankrupt, and so is Cumulus because they just own too many radio stations. Uh, we were all in the same building, and you know there was one sales staff selling everything. Yeah, and, and that's when I realized is we have uh, uh, a TV Fox, my Fox Two, and then my CBS uh, nine fifty AM. Mm -hmm. They have both had the same traffic helicopter yeah. guy, and then you know I realized oh that's also on this other station. There's like four stations that the traffic helicopter works for. I realized oh well they're all owned by the same company. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, it, 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 but the thing is that, that uh, it, it, you got better radio when you had each station being owned one station per market, one AM, one FM, one TV. That was the rule, right? You couldn't own a newspaper. You couldn't have cross-ownership with a newspaper. So if you, had an, if you were a newspaper, you could have a TV station, but you couldn't have the radio stations. Um, that's not, that's not really station. true. What? No, that's not no. true because in New York, what? WPIX... And uh, WPIX FM you're right. and the you're, Daily News. You're correct. You're correct. Yeah. You're, you're correct. I, don't even think I think, I I think that, well, that was because yeah. the rules changed, I believe. But I don't. I grew know up for with sure. it that way, though. They oh, were, you know what you know, it was? You could Dick's own. Plaza you, was the, you could uh, own the, the TV the and you, wait a minute. you could own the TV, but you could only own an a an FM. I think that was. Detroit, you didn't own an AM. Yeah, you couldn't own an AM. Right. In okay. Detroit, we have two main papers, but they're both owned by the same company. It's kind of like, what's the point? Why don't you just close down one and concentrate on one? Well, you know, who knows? But anyway, what would happen is you got better radio because all these singular stations were competing against all the other singular stations. And so they were kept trying to do the best they could and run the biggest contest and play the best playlist and have the best talk shows and, and all of that. And now in a market... Uh, I know one guy who was running a music station, and he was told by the ownership, your job is to lose because we have a format just like yours. We own another station that we're broadcasting with, and it's doing phenomenally, and if you cut into it, then you're going to hurt our making money off that station. So your job yes. is to lose. And he, It's he, the free market selling the noose to hang itself. Yeah. Yes, Mike. Okay, you were saying something that a uh, newspaper couldn't own a television station or a... Uh, no, they could own a television station. Okay, McClatchy newspaper, uh, Sacramento B, McClatchy family owns KFPK. K, yeah, but you're, uh, talk, K, you're talking, about, you're talking no. about today. No, no they, they, they still own it. They no, still I'm own saying it. that I don't think they owned uh, an AM and an FM. I think they only had an FM if they had a TV and a newspaper. No, I think if you had a newspaper, a newspaper could own a broadcast facility, but yes. they couldn't own a majority of broadcast facilities. Tribune In other words, if, uh, I, went, if I went into a market, I could have a TV station, AM and an FM, okay? Yeah. But they didn't like the idea that uh, a newspaper would also own an AM, an FM, and a TV because they would be monopolizing the medium in that market. I see your point, yeah. Yeah. Uh, there was some Today little. I think it was. I think you could e maybe you could even own an a AM, but you couldn't own an AM and an FM and a TV and a newspaper. Okay, you had to divest yourself of one of those. So, and it's interesting to note that uh, the company I used to work for, in fact, the company that I I helped make a lot of money for, Intercom, bought CBS Radio, right. uh, and I've been I've. I've, I've, I've Talk, they sent a note or something, or he sent me a note, uh, uh, the head of the company. Uh, but uh, he doesn't really remember uh, because when he came to, when he was starting out, his father owned the company and they sent him to San Francisco for us to babysit him. 
okay, and to teach him about the business and so on and let him observe what goes on. And uh, now, of course, he's the president of the biggest, one of the biggest broadcasting outfits in the country, and look at what I'm doing every night. Anyway, and I made them a fortune, okay? My show singularly paid for several other radio stations they bought back in the day. And um, uh, that station now, that company has now bought CBS Radio. And um, they have had to divest themselves of some stations because they would have too many stations in one market. I think there is a limit, isn't there now? Uh, I think Rob? it's market share more than it is yes. stations. Yes, you can only have a certain part, uh, proportion market share. market share. So they're unloading all their, you know, the shit-ass stations on, on people who want to buy them, you know. So if anybody wants to buy a radio station i know where you can get one cheap yes john rockwell's joined us ladies and gentlemen Hello. he's there in the upper square yes uh, the, uh the, the john rockwell and, uh, square takes the uh, takes the game go ahead I think. <laughs> oh lord no some night we should play hollywood squares with you this, right. you know. exactly. either that or we'll all sing the brady bunch theme yeah oh <laughs> no 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 when no. there are four look of you down, i keep thinking down. of the let it be cover and look up and look around My my lyrics go butt fuck bunch. Yeah, right. <laughs> this group. Mm. <laughs> Jesus. The yeah, butt well, fuck I, bunch. I don't know. But the any, butt anyway, fuck bunch. <laughs> anyway, but what what's happened now with all this, you know, this uh, uh and you know who did this uh Clinton. Uh, it was Clinton. It did this yeah. de deregulation of radio. Yep. You know, uh, and uh, he did it, I think, because he thought he was actually signing a bill about telecommunications for something else altogether. And this was tacked on to it that people could buy like up, upwards to a certain amount of stations in every market, I think, based upon market share. Uh, and it just ruined the business just complete. It, it didn't. And, it, and I'm not saying it ruined it for me because I survived. I went to Sirius, worked there for nine years. You know, I survived. But, that wasn't terrestrial but, radio. <laughs> well, no, it wasn't terrestrial radio, but uh, what's happened is terrestrial radio is all but dead. And it's dead mm. because of this, because there's no competition. You know, when you've got sales, well, you know, when you're I think telling... Also, I think also part of the problem is the, the, uh, the slice of the pie has gotten thinner and thinner and thinner, right? Yeah. Internet is where people are spending a lot of money. And that's why I think you're seeing even, like, NBC New York, Channel 4 in New York is getting rid of all the big contracts. They've gotten rid of all the all the names. Now, I turn on the news there now, and they're all a bunch of kids and because they're not making money like they were because the pie is all split up. Networks themselves are struggling because people are, people are putting their money into the Internet. The only people that watch the 630 news on CBS, NBC, and ABC are all over the age of 50. And you can Correct. tell because the best way to tell who an audience for a show is or for a TV advertising. is by the advertising. It's like, oh. it's like a litmus paper. It tells you what kind of – if they're trying to sell time for a certain kind of product, then that product has to appeal to their audience. And uh, on those shows, what are the ads you see predominantly? Depends. No, no medical stuff. Medical, yeah. Yeah. Pharmaceutical. Oh, depends, kind I of would is. say if, if you've <laughs> All got. All day, actually. <laughs> if, if you've got, like, uh, let's see, there were maybe uh, four breaks in a spot because you get four spots, and then maybe three breaks, there are 12 spots. Uh, I, I will bet you that 10 of them are a pharmaceutical or something that appeals to an older, older audience. You know, mm -hmm. I think all of those shows, their days are numbered. I don't think in another 10 years you're going to see a six o'clock network newscast anymore. But I see and that that's really what network news. That's I watch local news, you know, in the morning before I go to work. And when I come home from work, I'll watch it for a little bit. See, yeah. I gave up on local news because I don't, give a damn about, I don't give a damn about fires and the latest mugging. See, I guess I do because I. I work exactly in the inner city and I work outside. Yeah. I, find I wanted myself, to know if there's a murder right by where I'm doing a job at. <laughs> I find myself not. The only reason I watch even the network news so much as I do, and I mean by that cable network news, is because of Trump. Prior to Trump, I rarely watched it. Now I feel like I need to pay attention yeah. a little bit. 
when to put your gas mask on and, uh, right. you know, head for when your fucking your bunker. Head, right, when to put your head between your legs and kiss your ass goodbye. Yeah. That yeah. too. But yeah, uh, somebody, oh, Patrick has his hand up. Yeah. I, I watch local more than I do national. Yeah. And locally, um, we've had an increase in murders and we've had an increase in carjacking. And that, of anything, has got my attention. Because carjacking is expanding out into the suburbs and everywhere else around here. So, you know, and they're very bold about it. So I'm curious to know how soon it gets to me. Well. So that's the sort of stuff that local news gives you that national doesn't. And I don't give a fuck about Trump or any of that bullshit anyway. And I never have. So. I just, well, I, if I were you, I would I would uh, uh, handcuff myself to my basic mode of transportation. Well, if you get, if you, if you get the drift, get. what? It, it, in the garage, you know, I, but the, the thing is... Wouldn't that be I just guess, about the most pathetic crime of all time, stealing a wheelchair from Patrick Blazik? <laughs> Hey man, and you know something? If that if that happened, happened, you'd have that newscaster over at your place doing the story with a little tear coming out of their eyes. Little Patrick just he lost his wheelchair. <laughs> with a GoFundMe and a Native American car, style. Right? Yeah, and then you'll do a GoFundMe and you'll move to Cuba. Well, yeah. <laughs> see, the thing is, because of this increase in carjacking, a lot of them are strong armed or armed um, where people are getting into their vehicle. And you don't think that I think about that shit as I put my wheelchair together yeah. or take part. I mean, I'm more vulnerable than most people. At least you can jump out of your car. Um, so yeah, that, that's why for me, the local news. Yeah, but here, I'll but tell you, you know what? If they, if they hide, if they got your car, like while you were, you know, in it and they, you know, pulled you over and got you, they'd be so sorry. They'd be like, ah, oh, fuck, no, really? Because, no, you know, no. they just want to be able to pull you out of the car and have you run away. You can't do that. No. So that oh, would shit. be a real problem for them. They'd be like, fuck, really? We had By to the way, a guy I, I, apropos of this discussion. What if you just dive below the steering wheel and run over the motherfuckers? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> just gun it. Just gun it. Run them over. And back up, put in the reverse, make sure your tire's on their face so that, you know, when you're in neutral or whatever, you can just keep revving that motherfucker and watch all the blood and snot and fucking teeth come out everywhere. <laughs> you, you know, you're you know, going you're gonna to fuck me over. You're going you're gonna to pay for it. Brian, calm down. I just realized no, I, you're kind of our, you're, you're okay. kind of the talk show version of Sam Kinison. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. I would, be, I would be accused Oof. of being a KKK member because my lot, whoever would be carjacking me, would be part of the Black Lives Matter or part of Antifa or some left wing group, and then all of a sudden I'd be the bad guy and I ran them over. Well, they'd, well, if it were me, they'd be red because they'd be covered in their own fucking blood. <laughs> yeah. White or black, they'd be red. He is. He's Sam Kinison. Just hit me. You know, <laughs> same outrage, same outrage. Uh, uh, what I was going to say, though, is, and I have to take uh, uh, exception with you, Patrick, the one news I can't stand watching is the local news. The girlfriend loves watching the local news, and I hate the local news because it's basically little Maudie out in Queens got robbed, you know. It's it's Fire. not, they're, 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 they're the kind of... Uh, the, the kind of news items that would normally be sent saved for the penny saver, you know? Yes, Mark. Do you remember back in the day, WNEW TV, their yes. 10 o'clock news? Yes, 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 yes. They were, okay, so you had CBS, NBC, ABC, and then PIX, and then any. I was fascinated as a kid by. There, there was just something very bizarre with John Rowland and Stuart. Well, Stuart Klein was my favorite movie reviewer. And, I mean, if this if a movie was bad, he, he did not hold back. Right. But they went after all the crap that went, you know, that was their big news. Like, you know, they went out with all the bad stories and stuff, and it was just like, but even then there was a level of professionalism that just doesn't exist anymore. 
Yeah. Um, it's a I professionalism or seasoning. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you something. Um, uh, you know what? This is interesting because you mentioned WNEW. You know mm-hmm. what the call letters are at that station now? It's Fox. I, they're still WNEW. No, it, no it, WNYW. It, oh, WNYW, they changed it to that? Because yes. you don't really ever see the call letters anymore. You hear yeah. the channel number, channel two, channel four, right. channel seven. And on top, but the what I don't get about that is, is that, uh, you know, with cable and everything else, all those things get jumbled up, you know. So uh, they just try to give you the number they're going to show up on the cable. They don't want to give you the number you're going to, you know, they don't want to c- confuse you with call signs. And in the old days, you had to give the call sign. You don't have to anymore. You used to have to, every half hour, you had to say, like, WNEW, New York, right? Right. Yes. Uh, we grew up with the guy on channel In fact, two. let me just tell one story, CBS Patrick. TV channel I, 2, New York, and then the I, I knew Fred. Yes. I knew Fred. Yes. Fo- that? I knew Fred. Yes. I knew Fred Foy, uh, wow. who, as you know, was the voice on the Lone Ranger. Um and uh, then as the years went on, of course, the Lone Ranger wasn't around anymore. So he went to tell just local television to do announce booth stuff. And he would do it. And what he said, here's what I get paid for. He says, every half hour, I run into the booth. And when the guy cues me, I go, WABC New York. <laughs> and then yeah. he says, half yeah. hour later, WABC New York. And, and that was it. And, but the best part right, was, and let me finish this story, City. Patrick. You couldn't, yeah. you couldn't pre-record is that. that they they kept actual? the TV stations on in those days kind of live with a live announce until 3 o'clock in the morning. And yep. in, the, in the bottom floor of every TV station, there was a bar. They knew yep. that's where everybody would hang out after their shift. You but, could be really drunk. But, and but these w- booth w- announcers w- would go w- down between <laughs> WABC New York and, and go down there and start drinking. And I, one morning, I heard a guy at 3 o'clock in the morning, so plastered. Well, WABC New York. Good night, everybody. You know, and I went, geez, that's got to be a mind-numbing job. But it paid $150,000 a year, and that was back in the yeah. 70s. Because the unions went out and got them great contracts. Meanwhile, us FM announcers were, you know, begging for food on the street. Yes, Patrick. Don Pardo did that, too. He was yeah, a, I, Don Pardo did that for NBC right. uh, at, when he wasn't doing Saturday Night Live. That's about, uh, the, only, that's about the only other thing he did. Yeah. Uh, Patrick's been having <laughs> and, his and, hand and up. And also did the intros to the uh, local news, too. Yeah. He was the that's what I news for New York or whatever, you know. Yeah, anyway, uh, five five. Patrick's had his hand five up for a while. Five. Patrick's exactly. had his hand up for a while, and I don't oh, yeah. want him to lose feeling to it. God knows he has other problems. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you had mentioned losing the uh, call sign and going with the numbers. Yeah. Uh, the problem with our cable here in Milwaukee mm-hmm. is two of our television stations are not the same number as they are in the fucking cable uh, box. Mm -hmm. So if I'm working for Channel 4, it's Channel 2 on the fucking cable. And that's confusing as shit. So so we have a lot of call letters that we still use around here. So I don't know if that's just unique to the Milwaukee market or not. So they actually use them on the air? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, and everybody at it, WITI or WISN or, or whatever, and it's Channel 12 WISN. They all say it at the same, and even the, uh, the uh, uh, radio station, whether they're AM or FM, they'll say, you know, uh, News Talk 1130 WISN. Mm. And they'll write right to it, you know. Yeah. So it, it's all whole set. Yeah. Right. Uh, I'm, I'm having I got some... to know Don Pardo a little bit when he was doing the because a friend of mine was uh, the audio guy on Live at Five at News Four New York at six for many years back in the uh, probably there from like around eighty two to until he went to the Letterman show so mm-hmm. I don't know and I used to go up there all the time and hang out and got to talk to Pardo a couple of times and he would stand there and just he he just tell you stuff like yeah I'm working on my second million now. <laughs> he just would go around and do that. He would stand there, then he would leave. And he says, yeah, then, you know, later on tonight I have to go up to the booth and, you know, just say a couple of quick IDs or so, whatever they ask him to do. But you get paid great money. I was so jealous. 
By, by the way, just by, uh, I just want to apologize to the audience, although they probably haven't even noticed or cared. But um, I've had a shot of me and, and girlfriend on in the bottom quarter for the whole, most of the show because the f camera froze. And I just unfroze it so now I can wave at you. But I didn't realize it because I have such a small picture here of what's going on. I didn't even notice it. It was like girlfriend and I like this. You know? So if you thought your eyes were deceiving you, uh, they were. Yes. Uh, Jason. So that's why I kind of want to ask you, since you did end up switching, like I know when I was, when I had Comcast years ago, like yeah. my channel two would be on channel 35. And now, you know, when I had AT&T's U-verse or DirecTV, channel two's on channel two. Is that been the same with you with switching over to Fios as your local channels? Well, on the channels my, like they my, are. my whole life has been upended by Fios, and I'll tell you why. Uh, and uh, by the way, I am sorry, folks, because for the last hour, you've had a frozen picture of me, okay? And I didn't even notice it. Um, it's upended my life, and, and not for the bad necessarily, but their whole channel spray, the spreading of the channels is just, I don't know, it, it, it's, it, there's too much there. And it's spread out you know too many. Channel five on channel five. No, here's what happens: they run channel five in SD in standard definition on, on channel five, five. But you have they have a thing built in that you can set so that when you hit five, it goes to five oh five. Okay, right. and you get the high def. So it will defer to the high def channels no matter what station you bring up that might be a local station. Um, there are a couple of things I don't like. Uh, Turner Classic Movies, for instance, is only in standard definition. And that's pretty sucko because they're running a lot of old pictures now that are widescreen. And uh, I, I don't know what the problem is with, uh, with them. They've had enough complaints from people who want TCM uh, to be in high definition, and they've never done it. Uh, but uh, on the other hand, I got this system in here that just I'm in awe of because none of the boxes really do anything. The, the main box, the master in the bedroom, does all the grunt work. It changes the channels for each of these boxes. It records each of these boxes if they want to have the thing recorded. And it, the boxes are this small. I showed you one last night. There's, there's one over there. I can, uh, uh, maybe I can, uh, 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 oh, that's an AT&T gateway. See, oh. that, see that? See that right there? What? It's not AT&T. No, not, I'm talking to Jason's. <laughs> oh, Jason's? What's yours, Jason? Oh, well, that's mine's smaller than yours. Now, you, you, want, you will Jason, never hear that anywhere that. else. That. You'll never hear that anywhere else. Mine is smaller <laughs> than yours. The only time you'll say that with pride. Yeah, yeah. but uh, I, uh, yeah. I think you're muted, Jason. Uh, Jason? Yeah, no, yeah, I was muted. Yeah, but, yeah, no, that's that's my modem. Yeah, do you? Have, that's what, actually that's a new modem. You, the same what cable? Co what cable company do you have? The company I work for. Uh, which is uh, I'm trying to remember. Not Verizon, but the other big one. The other big Eight. one. Yeah, but I'll tell you something, Ben. Fiber, the picture is better than cable. I've been telling you to try to switch to fiber for a year. Uh, well, I thought you I thought you meant building, because I was having a trouble. Uh, I thought you meant because I was having trouble with constipation. Uh, no. And uh, no, I I got to tell you, this this pipe they put in here, this bandwidth is just killer. It's almost uh, a gigabyte. It's almost a gigabyte up and down. It's shot. Huh? Asynchronous. Yeah. And I. Uh, uh, Today I, you know, I do Snyder on Fridays, and I had to send his little program up to the, uh, up to GoDaddy, and his thing is only about 12 minutes long. It went so fast I couldn't even see it go. It just boop. That was it, you know. Amazing. So I'm very happy with Fios, you know. And uh, they've solved every problem I had. They sent a guy out who worked really hard to make sure I could get all my network drives on the line. He spent about three hours here till he got the problem solved. Uh, I have every reason to not like Fios because, you know, you never can get anybody decent on the phone. But whenever I've had a problem, it got solved. And, and I, I, you know, I appreciate that. I appreciate I just bought a I just bought a Fios modem. 
I ordered it tonight because I'm having Fios installed in my house in two weeks, and I didn't want to pay the rental fee anymore. So. I might buy the modem. It's only like a hundred bucks, right? Yeah, I paid a hundred and I bought it on Amazon, and I paid a hundred and nineteen for it. The I problem might that. be the problem might be is that this modem is a high speed modem. It's meant for this gigabyte thing. Okay. Uh, what, what brand is it? Do you know? Uh, it's, it's the one. Oh, okay. I don't know. It's Verizon. has got his you, name actually. on it. It's the it's I because I I spoke to the FiOS people to ask them. Yeah. It's um, if you give me a second, I can tell you what brand it is. Is it a piece of crap? It, it's the uh, it's FiOS G eleven hundred AC seventeen fifty gateway. Let me see here. What is that again? Hold on a second. Let me look at FiOS. Mine. G1100 AC1750 gateway. Uh, Fios. Mine is a 15 oh, So it's a different one. It's uh, This is a faster modem. It's meant for the high speed is what I've been told. Well, I pay basically all are now. Even even my modem that I have, mine's a pace. Yeah. It, it's it's on uh, U-verse right now, which is a slower you know, thing obviously because it's on copper. Yeah. But there's a red uh, Cat Five plug on the back of it that is designed to go from the ONT, which they probably installed in your apartment. That's where the fiber yeah. goes to the ONT, and that's probably Ethernet from there to your modem. And that there's two different plugs on my modem. One's meant for the copper. One's meant for the fiber. So. Yeah. Well, I have. Um, I guess I have all fiber into the. Oh, I have the ONT. It's right over here. It's right next, almost to the modem. Yeah. So I imagine that the going from the ONT into the. Um, it's probably it's a, a box, fiber. folks. That that sends the that gathers the fiber signal and then splays it out. You say that one of those outputs is pure fiber going into the modem. No, uh, it's probably a cat five going in uh, Ethernet. Uh, okay, all right. But still, you know, it's, it's only two feet long or whatever. You it's know, probably it just needs a foot. It's that close to it, you know. And it's these new uh, these new coaxial cables that I love, where you don't have trouble screwing them in because they've got the whole thing turns, and you just, you know, it's very easy to plug and unplug. You know what I'm saying? Before you had, it's no different than the old ones, but they put a cap kind of over it that makes it uh, easier to uh, turn. Yeah, a longer cap. It's not the short little thing that used to turn with like with right. a wrench. And it's got a nice little grip little on it. And you just you know you yeah. just it's like uh, screwing something in. You know, it. Uh, but uh, all I'm saying is, not shabby. You know, I have so far on my you know my my relationship with FiOS. The only thing that's different for me is that I've had to learn. Uh, the new channels. The, the new channels. I've had to learn the. The the uh, uh, VCR you know the the uh, DVR uh, works a bit differently. I have to program it to go ahead five minutes as, as opposed to going ahead thirty seconds. You know, things like that. Before with the old one, you'd hold it down and went ahead fifteen minutes. But this you hit do that. I got it five forward and thirty seconds going back because I figure the only reason you want to go back is to see what you just thought you saw. So. And that, that's why I just recently switched from AT&T's U-verse TV to the direct TV. Yeah. And the, the picture's fine. I just, mm -hmm. the thing I hate is the channel line. I really hate it. Yeah. Uh, AT&T U-verse. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're crazy. Yeah. AT&T U-verse, their, their channel lineup was so much better. You know, I, I wish, I, I wish they would take that format and put it into the direct TV and then I won't have any problems. Yeah. Yeah. But you're scrolling down through channels and all of a sudden you get a glut of these movie channels and then you yeah. go back through some more channels and and then you try and search through the different categories, you know, like, you know, entertainment and news and entertainment and it brings you to CNN, which is on 200 and then it skips through you know, a hundred stations, and all of a sudden you got to go to three hundred to get to the MSNBC or whatever, and yeah. the rest of them. It's Maybe weird. And that's why, like on you versus all the science, you know, and history and all that stuff were right by each other, and these yeah. Ones were all yeah, it was really good. That's the only thing I liked about it, though. Yeah, but anyway, <laughs> so anyway, we're getting back to TV and all of that. I mean, to reporting, it's just you know, it's now a clusterfuck with these hurricanes, and um, yeah. 
you know, I, here's something I found very interesting. They did a thing on uh, CBS Sunday Morning, which is a show I love, and the story was in regards to tragedies uh, and how Americans react to them. And the Americans are very good at reacting to this sort of thing. They feel sympathetic. They want to help. They want to do the best they can. So they send teddy bears and they send a, a clothing and all those kind of things. And what the person said was, don't send that shit. Just send us money. Here's the reason why. We'll show you Haiti. And they showed him this pile of clothes that went a, an acre in size that nobody ever used because, you know, they, they, they just didn't, uh, nobody needed them. They said, you're going to do more by just taking whatever you are going to spend on these goods and services and, spe you know, send a check. Yeah. Because then we, then we years. can supply the proper amount of aid. So for all of you listening, you want to help the people in Houston? Give to who you believe you can give to, but give them money. Don't give them a teddy bear. Don't send yeah. something else down there. And don't go for anybody who comes along and says, we're sending teddy bears to Houston. Yes, uh, Jason. That's the thing I think is funny about some of the guys in my work. It's American elitism. You know, you see some of these islands that have already been hit by Irma, and like they say, 95% of everything on the island has been destroyed. Oh, yeah. but Florida's going to be fine. You know, they deal with hurricanes all the time. Florida's going to be, you know, they're going to be all right. But I said, okay, so Florida deals with these hurricanes all the time, but these islands in the Gulf, they don't deal with them all the time. You know, and these islands in the Gulf, their houses are usually made out of concrete and cinder blocks. You know, they're yeah. actually a little bit better prepared. Yeah, uh, they're being blown away. <laughs> yeah, but but Florida, you know, well, these Americans, yeah, in Florida, in, in, in a lot of Florida, the only thing anchoring your home to the ground is a garden hose. There's some yeah. wheels. <laughs> <You know? laughs> yes. CNN just reported that uh, they've they've uh, that Irma has been strengthened back to a Category Five. Oh wow! Again. So it's on yeah, it's on Viagra now. Yes, She's Mike. Mike. Mike had his hand. They're up. saying they're saying now, Florida quote unquote has these new building laws you know but the buildings have to be anchored down or something the way they're yeah. supposed after to be Andrew. after Andrew but it says most of the older houses they're, they're going to be blown off I'm thinking to myself yeah you're going to tell somebody to tear down their old house and redo the house you know did you hear that Rush Lumbaugh had a yeah. the house he left the house in Florida. He's up in New York right now. He's not. You know what else is uh, pretty scary about that whole thing is there's supposedly about 24 cranes yeah. around yeah. Miami area. Yeah, we were mentioning that earlier. Yeah. Oh, okay. I missed it. Sorry. Yeah, but but yeah. They, they they most they think that most of them could be affected by this. Oh, easily. They're they're rated to 145 mile an hour winds, but. This is going to be more than 145 That's miles an hour. Yeah. Right now, it's a Cat 5 again. So, you, you know, I wonder what happens if you look at uh, New Orleans as, as an example of, of this kind of tragedy. They're still waiting for insurance companies to pay them. Mm -hmm. How long ago was Katrina? 12 years. Yeah. Right? And the insurance companies are still trying to stiff them. <laughs> You know, and and, and uh, uh, we, you know, if you want to start passing some laws, you better start passing laws with these insurance companies. You know, yeah. that they uh, yeah, that that's true. They have a certain amount of time to come through with the money, and if they can't afford it, well, I guess they go bankrupt. Okay, and well, that's one a lot, lesson. A lot of people didn't return to to uh, New Orleans after after uh, Katrina. Mm -hmm. So and pay they, pay them for their house, pay them for whatever true. the loss was, you know, so they can relocate somewhere else. But if they took out insurance and they paid their check every month, and now they got wiped out in a hurricane, I'm sorry, you got to pay. That that's what they're there for, you know. But they they don't. The only time insurance companies don't want an exchange of money is when it's from them to you. Yeah, you know, bullshit. And that's the problem. Guys up here from Hurricane Sandy, there's still houses that haven't been rebuilt and insurance people haven't paid yeah. up house five years yeah yeah i think that cruise with that yeah. huh? <laughs> well this house we stay in out at fire island uh, it got hit by hurricane sandy 
Mm-hmm. And uh, because Fire Island got hit by Hurricane Sandy. Yeah. But somehow she's in the middle of the, the island. And so she just had a little water damage in under the floorboards. And the bo- floorboards warped. And then as the house dried, it they went back the way, the way they were. But, the, you know, that, uh, um, you know, there were people who lost uh, property out there. All the people along the coastline. Long uh, Beach. All, all Long those, Beach. I have a friend who lived in Long Beach who was devastated. Yeah. Yeah, it was trashed. And what do you do when your home, you know, becomes, you know, that way? It's it's terrible. It's absolutely terrible. Uh, the money's not there to rebuild. What do you do? Yeah. yeah. But uh, now now you've got Trump cooperating with the Democrats because they wanted to raise the debt ceiling. Yeah. So, so you you've got this president who was complaining about the national debt only increasing it by fifteen billion. I give him less than a month to stab them all in the back again. Yeah, probably, probably. I was uh, going to say, screw all the natural well, disasters, well, he, the earthquakes, the hurricanes, and the net, the wildfires. Trump agreeing with the Democrats, there's a sign of Armageddon. Well, no, it's a, <laughs> it, you know, it's, it's a sign that uh, that that Trump is an agnostic, and then yeah. he never had any politics to begin with, and he used to be a Democrat, so he knows what that's like, and he, he became a Republican. To like him. Huh? He wants people to like him, and this is a way to get people to like him. Why, by kissing a black kid down in Houston? Oh, that and 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 signing this this deal to give everybody all their money. You know, I just I that. just think he sees we will be completely fucked if he doesn't. Well, yes. he has to, but I mean, I mean in general, it's an easy to decision it. for him. They've got to, you know, I but I am I am in Congress who can just sit there and say, oh no 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 no. If they were actually in charge and it's up to you, they're they're going to do the exact same damn thing. You know, you're yep. fucked. If but you I, I brought this up to girlfriend tonight, and I, I said to her, why in the world are we spending having to raise the debt limit to get fifteen billion dollars? Shouldn't we have a savings account or whatever for disasters like this so that when the disaster comes, that's where we get the money? But, you know, they do have one. It's called Social Security. Al Gore wanted it to be a locked box, and it's not. Yeah, yeah. So, so what happens is, I mean, my question is, why don't we have some kind of, uh, some kind of fund or something that takes care of this sort of thing? Even put it in an interest-bearing account. You know, many, many billions of dollars. Put it aside because these you tragedies are time, right? these, these tragedies are going to keep happening. You know. Yeah, we did it one time, but they trashed it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, so I mean, uh, uh, so so they had to raise the debt ceiling. You know. So here yeah. we go again. More debt ceiling. More they debt. The debt clock down in. Uh, uh, in, on 34th Street or wherever that clock is is going to be ticking away like crazy. It's going to be make some more money. Yeah. Print it out. Yeah, it's like it's got fiber, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Greg, hundred gigs, a hundred thousand, hundred thousand a second. Yeah. Now you work. I'll for say co- this. Yeah. I'll say this. I'm a. I'm as a poli- politically I could be as agnostic, if not more so than Trump. Yeah. On account of the fact that if uh, in an attempt to uh, bend to the people's will and to be well liked, as Rob says, that Trump in his first term implements uh, single payer health care and then promises in his second term that he'll forgive student loans. <laughs> Guess what? I, I very well may vote for him. Well, yeah, it's provided, of course, you know, he, he we actually see single payer. And uh, well, you know, so now, in the, 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 the next problem, four years, the, 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 he, will, but, he will run again. What? Yeah, he will not run again. He 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 he'd be, he'd be too old, too tired. Yep. You know, he'll be um he'll be. What? I realize what I'm saying is a pipe dream, but I mean, yeah. Yeah. he'll be like. There's always that point. possibility. He'll be like 74, won't he? More than that. Uh, Hillary's getting up there in years. Bernie's getting up there in years. Yeah. Yeah. So, Hillary's done. Or she won't run. Yeah, again. Hillary's uh, Hillary's not going to run again. And some people are talking Good about riddance. some people are talking about Biden running. He's talking about running, but how's he going to run? I mean, he's going to he's seventy four already, isn't he? Hillary. If he was going to run, he should have ran as Hillary's running mate. Yep. He should have just run. I Way think he, I think he could have won. Yeah. Uh, see, I I just think you know historically, he would have been the longest serving vice president. 
and that would you know yeah. usually people want to look at what their name is in history well you know the thing is that biden uh could have run and and he probably would have won because he would have told trump back off creep you know uh, he she, he was he was the kind of guy that would have said back off creep. And if were, Hillary she was too afraid to hit him. It, well, it, no, but if it. she had said at that thing, back off creep, I think she would have won the election. You know, I think it was her constant acquiescing and trying to play it right and straight rather than from the from the from the hip is what lost her the election. Yes, Renee. Yeah, I, don't, I don't doubt that. I was I was wondering because you'd watch her and go say something to the son of a bitch. Yeah, uh, you know, Renee. I think the reason she didn't go full bitch mode or even partial bitch mode on him is because of Bill Clinton. I think he probably told her, you know what, keep him at this particular political back stage thing and and don't show any kind of emotion because they're going to attack you and say you're a woman but i think alex has a little bit of a, 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 a that he's right that if she would have said you know you're creeping me out get the fuck out of my face that would have helped her quite a bit well i mean yeah. it, it, i mean the fact that to do with bill clinton that was with the advisors well, you know her. Her. No, you her, don't think Bill Clinton is one of her advisors. No, she's, not at all. She's. She's. She said, really? Yeah, she says it in her book that she felt that she couldn't do that because that was, you know, people would accuse her of being a bitch and whatever. And my idea, yeah. my attitude is, hey, they're going to call you a bitch anyway. <laughs> you know, yeah. so you may as yeah. well, you may as well be called a bitch for all the right reasons. You know, Look at what saying, Trump. he's an asshole. <laughs> I say, or as I say, you know, turning the phrase in for a penny, in for a pound. If I'm in for a penny, I'm in for a dollar, so I might as well get my 99 cents. Fucking That's money. right. Yeah. That's right. And and uh, I think by not, that would have also made her seem more human to everybody. She always well, seemed like she was she was selling a person that wasn't exactly Hillary. A machine. Yeah. Yeah. Fake. yeah. That's why so, Bernie gained the momentum that he gained. Because, exactly. You know, she's artificial. Bernie, yeah. Bernie had a, you had a feeling at least. I mean, there's an old saying I have that if you can't be sincere, at least fake it. Uh, he did a good job. If he wasn't, fa if he wasn't sincere, he did a good, great job of faking it, and it was a fake that everybody bought out of Bernie. And that's what you're selling. You're selling that sincerity, that reality. Hey, I know who Hillary really is, but did any of us really know who Hillary really was? What are you doing there, Renee? I have to put on my brace. <laughs> so hold on a second. I got a dress on, so I got to do this. Oh, oh, look at that. I got to go. Uh, oh, you got to go? Okay, well, we, we got a full house without Phil tonight. So, you know. Uh, uh, you guys were talking about the insurance people for the insurance payments and think about this uh, so yeah. the insurance companies haven't paid out for all of sandy they haven't paid out for all of katrina and they haven't paid out anything between us but you have a very pro business president now do you think he's going to give a rat's ass about these people who haven't been paid because of their from their insurance company no and the other point to that is is that donald and you it, you people should have learned this from that jackass uh George Bush. He should have only gone down to the devastation once. He should have, the second time he went, or the second time he said he was going to wet, he should have gone with full, with hands and bags and suitcases full of cash for those people. We don't want to see you pick up a child. We don't want to see We don't want to see the, we, we, we don't yeah. need, we don't need the fucking photo op. I think is what you're right. saying. We were talking. We were talking about this last night when the earthquake hit in San Francisco and we were in the marina. Uh, we didn't need. Uh, who was that president who didn't like? Uh, who didn't know how to spell potato? Uh, Dan Quayle. Uh, Dan, Dan Quayle yeah. came by, you know, in a caravan, and he stood up on a big, a big set of boxes and looked at the devastation. Uh, the president didn't even come. That was what George Bush at the time, and then. He started driving his limousine down the street, and I love this, this is one of the greatest moments of my life, okay? He drives down the street, and he's waving to people, and somebody yells out in the crowd, Look, Alex Bennett! <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, that was one of the great moments of my life. 
for decades. Maybe one visit because any more than one visit makes it look like a photo op. And number two is those people don't give a shit if the president of the United States shows up. They need money. They don't need teddy bears. They don't need clothes unless you're in their vicinity. They need cash. Yeah, well, that's what we said earlier. You know, is that yeah. that the, 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 there are places like Haiti that are piled high clothes that were never worn. Uh, right. That you you should give it to organizations who are going to spend the money where it needs to be spent. Patrick, get your hand Absolutely. up. Yeah, um, but the people that want the president there, in the media, get the people. If it's the people on the right, they want the president that's a Democrat there. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, they are going to criticize. If it's people on the left, they want the Republican there, or else they're going to criticize. It's, now, it's, fucking, it's, it's, a, it's a circular yeah. uh, shooting range. Yeah. And it, 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 whoever can criticize whomever, um, you're but, right. All they need is money, but you know what? If Trump would have never shown up, the left would have just fucking bitch. Oh no, I, 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 you're absolutely right, Patrick. You're but absolutely. The rule is, but the rule is once. The rule is one time show up because the logistics of pulling all of these EMS people off of the front lines to protect this jackass once. You can show up once. The next time, don't show up. Send money. Get the people that you own. Well, and, look, and in all in all deference to Trump, money. let's say something good about him for a moment. He did get the fifteen million dollar debt ceiling lifted upwards, so they could accommodate this. And you know, it wasn't it wasn't heavy lifting because the the sympathy was there, but nevertheless, right. he got it done, and he got it done in re- rather fast order. Yes, Pat. Yeah, but but he, go ahead, Patrick. You're just, First time he went to Texas, he stayed away from the devastation, and he went there and to show that he was there. Yeah, it was the a second time was really should be considered the first time right. and the only time. It was a redo. He got shown up by Pence. No, but if he would have went down there the first time into the into the thick of it, then you would have had all with the first. Uh, uh, responders dealing with him, and they couldn't have done that at that point. That's why he had to wait several days later before doing it. I don't think it was a redo. I think it was a smart thing to do to show up as president in the state, far away from where the destruction was, and then after shit started calming down, show up. So I, no. I think he did it in the right order. I, I don't think a second. I don't think under any president that the second time that you need to be there. I, I, do, I think one time to show sympathy and empathy and then get your ass back to Washington and get that money released and get it to those people. I don't think two times is, is anything that anything other than a Photoshop. I think the right timeline is he should be in Miami right now. <laughs> yeah, uh, 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 yes. Yeah, set him down. He'd be ahead in Mar-a-Lago of right now, actually. That, yeah, which has yes. been evacuated, by the way. Yeah. Uh, which is, oh. uh, well, didn't, yeah. Pa- didn't Patrick was trying didn't to say something. Patrick oh, was ahead. trying to say something. Patrick. Um, when he went down the first time, all I heard on the news is he wasn't apathetic. He didn't kiss anybody. There was nobody kissing a hunt. He was away from the destruction. And then if he would have went to Houston. Everybody on the left would have bitched that he would pull in the first responders off so that he could do a photo op. I think he did the right thing. I don't like the guy, but I think he was smart the way he did it because of how bad everything was in Houston. So that second time, he yeah. able to show a little bit of empathy. Right. Uh, yes, John's got his hand up. Yeah, I, if I remember correctly, when Sandy hit, and that was during Obama's uh, time, he got criticized for getting there too early, yeah. and people are like, especially the, the Republicans, like, "Oh, you can't, you know, if you he's he's taking things away from be, being there with all that, you know, with, with all the, the brouhaha about being president, well, made it harder for the people to work." But it, so I think that may have been looked it, at. It, and Trump it, said, it, "Okay, it, well, it I'm going, but I'm not going to yeah. go anywhere where I could be where my entourage but, and stuff is going to screw see, up." What I, I don't like done. the fact that they, <laughs> they, they that they don't get honest with the people. All he would have to say is. I'm, I would go down there right now, 
but I know I would only be getting in the way and, and, and interfering in the relief efforts that are taking place. I will go there at an appropriate time when I won't be a, a negative asset uh, or a, whatever. I don't know who, two people have the hand up. So first Jason, then uh, Kevin. You know, I, I was just gonna say, they don't even need to fucking go anymore. With the TV cameras and the internet and all that, and the st statistics and everything that they have, you got all the facts in front of you. You can see it, the devastation on a camera in front of you, on a computer in front of you. You don't need to go because, yes, when you do go, you have local law enforcement, you have local this and that. You're taken away from the Recovery Act. You know, you don't need to go anymore. You shouldn't go anymore. See what it is. Know what you need to send. Send what you need to send. You are not what you need to send. Right. Yeah. Okay, now, that's Kevin, wait a minute. Let Kevin, Kevin had his hand up. That's what, that's wait what wait, he, Hold on a second. They say... Let, let Kevin say what that's he's That's what they say, say that he did. They, they took like 110 people off of what they were doing just to have those reports and sit around the tables and talk about how good they were doing and all that. But there's 110 people that were on the front lines and guiding the front lines that he pulled out of everything to do that that first time. But the media still today says you need to go. What you yeah, and I guess that part. But, you know, go go later. But, they and that's, calm down. And that's, but see, he's damned if he does. Yeah. He's damned if he I does, guess. and he's damned if he doesn't. But the second one was completely in oh, okay. and And well, we've learned it once. Just show up once. All right. But, but nevertheless, seconds. nevertheless, he came closer to acting like a president and acting <laughs> a little more like he should Ever appropriately before. than in any other part of his administration so far. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, what would you? What, and then they're giving him. They're giving him credit months? for the, uh, for the uh, going over the Democrats too. So that's two now, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you're finally giving him kudos for being a president after the jackass has been a president for nine months. So thank you to the Republicans for electing somebody that has a better chance of being a cashier at McDonald's. <laughs> well, how do you really feel, Renee? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Get them should have been there the second time. We've learned this. We all learned this. Everybody has learned this. We watched Bush do something stupid. We watched the next guy do something stupid. We watched them all do this. Stop well, doing look, it. Look, I, I just hope you know. I, I hope we could say this is the beginning of a new Trump who is starting to understand how to be president of the United States. I don't. Bullshit. Wait a minute. Let me finish. I, that, you let me finish what I was going to say. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but but it would be nice if this was a beginning that all of a sudden he's getting the right advice from the right people. OK, it would be nice. Yeah, yeah. it would be nice. It's a, it, it, at least it's, there, a, right? you know, it's assuring that at least he but, did. He did one thing kind of right. You know, he kind of, you know, most of us are sitting here going bullshit, you know. But on the other hand, he's he's like a puppy. You got to pat him on the head and say, good boy. Good boy. Yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah. yeah, go ahead. Take a Better dump a, in the middle of the house. house. I, I guess yeah. one last quick question before you kill it. Uh, RT was showing the border between North Korea and China, saying something about like a nuclear bomb test again. Did they do another uh, test today or no? I don't, I don't know. I haven't been paying I thought it was supposed to be it. tomorrow is what they were talking about a few days ago. Yeah. So, hey, the hey, ninth. Listen, we got we to gotta shut down this puppy. Uh, thanks, Mark. Great to have you on board tonight. And we got a nice picture of you. You're not lying down. And uh, you're erect. Hey, hey. You're erect. Uh, 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 Mike, <laughs> thank you. Patrick, as How always, you know? you know, it's a pleasure to have you here. Uh, let, let's say goodnight to Kevin and to Jason, who sees us every two weeks, because that's when his wife will let him out. The leash gets taken off, <laughs> and he can say what he wants to say. Rob, great talking with you. Of course, uh, John, wonderful having you here again tonight. And you too, Renee. And you know something? We had a full house, and uh, we had a spirited discussion tonight, and the numbers uh, that I saw coming across were larger than usual. So, feel free nights are always uh, kind of uh, special nights here. At the well, wait, 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 wait. Uh, there. Uh, no, don't, uh, no, don't do that. No sound effects. I will ban you the next time you use a sound effect. Anyway. Hey, Mark, stay safe down there, buddy. Everybody, wave goodbye and say goodnight to everybody. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it, okay?
And that's it for tonight. Uh, that's our citizen panel, and that's uh, all she wrote for this evening. Uh, we'll be back again tomorrow night. Same time, same station in life. Uh, in the meantime, uh, stay tuned for Jack and Amy, who are next over most of this same uh, station. Uh, and uh, we'll see you again, as I say, uh, on Tuesday night. Same time, same station in life. Did I just say that? I'll say it again, okay? <laughs> Good night, everybody. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, let me just, oh, I got to do this, too. I got to get the, the, the right, the graphic going. Bye, everybody. If you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Okay, bye. Bye.